eyes and praying trees. The guard joked, another scrawny ember from the forest, and with a bag looking all nicely and shiny. Both guards started looking at Ember with a deathly stare. The guard leered, the forest king would like you, little scruff. Yes, come a little closer, let us see what's in that bag. We guard the door to the forest king. Oh yes, we decide to get to see the king. The forest king will want to see you. Yes, yes, come this way. Boding overcame Ember. <coughs> Ember was terrified but tried not to show it. The giant bird spoke softly. Another little Ember. Speak, little one. Do not fear. The bird is a friend. Ember wanted to feel safe. Oh, little Ember, birds won't hurt you. Birds will take another under our wing. Stay safe in a nest you'll never turn forlorn. Ember was still afraid. Is it the night that scares you, little one? is gone. Day is here. Birds will make the world less frightening. It wasn't only the night that frightened Ember. The bird was disappointed. Stay? No need to help silly Pope is false. Hope hurts little ones in the end. The forest king spoke so gently to her, perhaps they could rest here for a while. It was hard to know what else to say. Clever little Ember. You will stay. You will not turn forlorn. Search for hope no more. Now take this feather. Feather means Ember is one of us now. Birds keep little ones safe. Birds should never leave the nest. God seemed pleased. Clever Scruff sticking with us. I can hold that bag for you. Leave him alone, they're one of us now. Yeah, one of us. And we all share bags and things. The stranger wanted Ember's attention. Being careful not to speak too loudly. You should get away from here while you still can. You can't 
trust the birds. I've heard there's another campfire in the marsh. Well, that's where I'm going if I can find a way down. The guards squawked. Stand back, don't come any closer. Nothing down there but sadness and turning forlorn. Go see the forest king. He'll set you straight. Got your first feather, I see. Best prove yourself, scruff. Stand watch here. Promise you won't let anyone pass. I didn't like deceiving the birds. But what choice did they have? They couldn't rest in that place. hurried away from the birds. The mist hung close to Ember, hiding them. The forest king seemed frightened, the birds cruel. Ember would rather risk turning forlorn than become like them. Ahead there would be others to help, and maybe a way to move on. The traveller seemed distressed. I'm sure it's fine, but it's been a while since it's my fault. was so blinding, Ember was turned around. Hidden away was a scrap of journal. There are memories here, bound in rock. I hear their voices echo in the ancient stone. I find footprints by the cinders, a makeshift camp. It looked like a map, but pieces were missing. Peace formed a new room. It was the same place as before, but how? An eerie scene, like a moment frozen in time. Gradually, more of the map was revealed. A section of bridge had somehow been ripped from its foundations. It was like the map had been broken on purpose.
The mist revealed a secret place. Was it hidden on purpose? The stranger spoke. You know, part of me didn't want to be found. I said some things I shouldn't have, and now I'm lost. And it's too late. Skeleton looked peace held tightly in its hand was a red feather. The statue spoke. Just as it once moved the heart of the forlorn, the instrument you now hold has the power to move the world around you. Another before you took great effort to hide it deep within this riddle. held tightly in its hand was a red feather the skeleton looked held tightly in its hand was a red feather ember found a scrap of journal i heard them coming the snap of a twig a flutter of birds a figure dashing through the undergrowth another like me was the wondrous journal. Another face at last. A catcher of fish resting by a pond. We work together, silk and tar and aching fingers, 
My boat floats once more, though I almost wish to stay. There was one last place to reach on the map. was so blinding, Ember was turned around. a great relief to be out of the mist. didn't mind getting muddy. The slide was such fun. A sleeping pig. Trotters in the air. They looked happy. The plant looked like it could take a hand off, and it was in Ember's way. The fruit was giving off a sickly sweet smell. The plant looked like it could take a hat and it was in Ember's way. Ember chuckled. The dangerous plant was no match for a hungry piggy.
hideous odor filled the air. And suddenly, the reason was obvious. Ember came upon another campfire lost in the wilderness. The ghost said, Speak and I will listen. It looked long cold, but ready to be lit. This is the hollow marsh. Here hope was consumed before it could flourish. You must not lose hope, or you too will turn. Ember thought of those they loved, those they'd left behind. There were others lost along their journey. Find them and I will guide them. Down steps to your east, travel the path south, watching a pig grow unhappy, a forlorn lost hope. skull was disgusting. Perhaps the pig would like it. inhaled a giant snort of air. Wait, what's the ember shuffled nervous? Other embers fed me treats, but then stopped. You feed me now. As the big chewed, a light grew in its belly. Not much meat, a bit too bony. But what I want is a flavour with more spark. The pig would eat anything, Ember just needed to find more. But what I want is flavor with more spark. Perhaps if Ember could satisfy the pig, they might be more helpful. It was junk. Maybe the pig would eat some junk. This was the last thing Ember could find to offer. Surprising, a little sparky, but tingly. But what I want is, the pig's stomach made an almighty sound. Ember chuckled with relief at the large creature they had been so afraid of. had vanished, but something moved beneath the surface. 
In a muddy pond, Ember thought the pig looked a lot less imposing. The pig shouted joyously. The water feels so... Join me, Morsel! The pig seemed happy, but Ember wasn't getting too close. Why do I consume whatever people... I need some true nourishment, but there's none left here. It's so much cooler in this muddy pond, I can finally think. Thank you, Morsel. Ember thought about the pig. Fed to bursting by others, but without nourishment. Who had the pig been before? Ember wanted.
The stranger was afraid. They couldn't see what lay ahead. And they saw their own fear reflected in the stranger. Darkness hungered for the moon. Ember spoke hesitantly. How do you continue, never knowing if we'll reach the end? Inside was a secret diary entry. Pink, orange, red, brown, leaves gently dancing to the ground. Crunch, crackle, lovely sound, fall into a giant mound. had turned cold, the fire had died. Nothing the cook made felt good enough. Endlessly stirring the same tasteless pot. Focus, sleepwalking through the days. In the eye of the storm, a fragile flicker. The 
They wanted to serve something perfect. The praise of others was hollow, but they couldn't hold on. numb and hurt all at once. But it's not ready. It's not done. A wonderful smell wafted towards Ember. You look starving, poor thing. Have a little taste. But it's not right yet. It was the most beautiful thing Ember had ever taken. I know. It's got no flavor, nothing special. Ember wished the cook would believe them. Forgotten how good it feels feeding folk, but it's not ready. There's no need to pretend just to make me feel better. The cook stirred their soup, looking at Ember, looking at the pot. Soon, maybe. Oh, I used to love this, but it feels like I'm making the same things. Oh, nothing has flavor. I'm stuck. If you know what you want, I can try, but I really need some vegetables. Something from the orchard could have worked, if it was still standing. Oh, the cooks struggle to hold back them. Pigs have gotten in the orchard. Planted every sapling I did. All me hard work. Take the key and have a look yourself. I can't bear to. See if anything is left, but I promise you. There won't be. The stranger couldn't take on more. to grow had passed.
the stranger stretch their limbs. Perhaps it is not too late after all. A lost message was inside. The mist is thick. One way blurs into another. Where do I end? Where does the world begin? I cannot see far enough to tell. stone golem frozen in the lake, a relic from a forgotten time. Ember watched as the helpful piggy cleared the path. Ember found a secret note from the wanderer. Something beckons. This place is not home. I trace the map in my head, recite the older myths. I have to move on.
through the mist, Ember could feel they were being watched. The stranger said excitedly, A magical sound a lanthorn makes. Your whole body moves. Let me tell you, I place a good lanthorn. Ember found a lost message. The smell of hot broth and hearty stew wafts across the swamp. By the cook's pot I meet another. They are on their own path, but we promise to meet again.
stranger puzzled over their journey. Some steps felt effortless. Some steps seemed impossible. Again and again they returned to the past. Gratefully, the stranger said, Friend, thank you. We all help each other. Gratefully, the stranger said, Friend, thank you. We all help each other along the path. The orchard gate was locked and needed a key. Ember placed the key in the lock and slowly began to turn it. The cook was right. The pigs had destroyed everything. The pig was stuffed to bursting, having filled up on fruit in the orchard. devoured the fruit with careless abandon. The stranger closed their eyes and let the fog overwhelm them. Soft, gentle fog, it held them like a vice.
the mist could not be pushed, would not be fanned away. The stranger spoke. The fog didn't choose me, it just was. I hope it never closes on you, friend. The frog seemed nervous, but also relieved to see Ember. They told Ember that the birds had let all the pigs into the orchard and that the pigs had eaten everything, all whilst the birds watched and laughed. Except one precious thing the frog had managed to keep safe. The frog offered the lotus seeds to Ember. They pleaded for Ember to take the lotus seeds to their old friend the cook as the frog knew how important good ingredients were in hard times. Inside was a scrap of journal. In the orchard, I meet the stranger from the cook's fire, a stranger no longer. Together we fill their satchel, food and memories for the road ahead.
the stranger couldn't face himself. I've never meant any harm. The stranger couldn't face himself. couldn't face himself. It just hurts to be outshone. just to turn aside. The stranger searched Ember's face. Is there hope for me, do you think? Will I make it? The pig was stuffed to bursting, having filled up on fruit in the orchard. The stranger had come so very far.
They felt the air beneath them, the distance ever widening. a long way down. A resolve stirred within the stranger. Just a few more steps. It can't be much further. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello there. I can't believe... Where did you... I've never cooked with lotus seeds before. Ember felt happy seeing the cook suddenly so full of purpose. What a lovely surprise. What a lovely surprise. Please try some. It's not much, but there's plenty to go around. Help yourself. Be well, little one. And do remember me if you are ever hungry. pig was joyous. What is this, morsel? My insides feel as refreshed as my outsides. I did not dream such food was possible. We will plant a garden of treats. We will grow and eat like piggy kings. Compliments to the chef.
the Wanderer's Diary. An ancient throne sits empty. No one remains to guide or protect, but we do not mind. My companion shelters with me now. We cannot help those left behind. Ghost said, Speak and I will listen. Nearby, down the east steps, a forlorn hides near the circle of frogs.
Ember found the Wanderer's diary. We stop by the warmth of another campfire. The Guardian Spirit provokes us, asks what we hope to resolve. I do not understand the question. My companion is silent. Ember uncovered a journal entry. Snorty Piggy, simple Piggy, so easily teased with fruit. They are no help until they are fed. A few grow fat, wobbling on their trotters.
Stranger knew they had to move on. The path behind was forever closed. no choice, and yet they hesitated. at all. To leave now seemed unbearable. Stranger stared past Embo. I'm almost ready. Let me sit a little longer. I will catch up. I promise. You have done all you can, little one. Your journey lies ahead. You have done well to get this far. I will clear the path ahead for you. You have seen another watching over you. They know the secrets of this place. 
Seek them out. The painting was the same as Ember had seen before. Two embers shone clearly in the daylight now, their journey ahead. Well now, well now, we've been looking everywhere for you. Fun, fun, over the wall they goes. Hope you have a good excuse for running off, Scab. Ember's heart sank. Ember tried to think of an excuse. Save your made-up stories for the Forest King. Oh yes, yes, tell the lies to the King. Ember felt nervous standing before the king again. Frustrated, the forest king said, Poor tired Ember, where did you go? You must rest now. You give false hope. Try and fail and hurt. This is all there is. Ember could feel the Forest King looking right through them. This end, there no more. Why not stop? Let go of this. You must stay. No more foolish hope. Last chance. Take key now. Make sure gates are locked. Let no more in. Let no more out. Ember took the key. What choice did they have? Yeah, this really is your last chance. Don't betray the Forest King again. again. 